Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying 2016 so far and that you're baking your little socks off. Now it's a new year and that means lots of new exciting recipes to come, but for now I thought it would be really cool to look back over 2015 at some of my recipes and give you my top five cupcake recipes. Number five is not actually a cupcake recipe, so I'm kind of cheating with this, but it is an essential part of many delicious cupcakes and it is my Swiss meringue buttercream recipe. What I love about this icing is that it's just a few really simple, humble ingredients put together in the right way to create the most brilliant five-star VIP luxury icing for your cakes and cupcakes. So what you're doing when you make it is you're dissolving the sugar in the egg white first over a bain marie and that will just cook the egg a little bit, obviously not scrambling it. So you whip it right up for about 10 or 15 minutes until it's completely cool and then that is when all that lovely soft butter goes in. And then that's the base of your Swiss meringue buttercream. You can add the flavour, you can add vanilla, um, you can add some chocolate. I sometimes add peanut butter or a Biscoff spread. It's a really adaptable one and it's so delicious, I love it. So that's number five, my Swiss meringue buttercream. And at number four, it's a classic combination, which is chocolate and peanut, and it's my peanut buttercup cupcake. So start with a chocolate base. So it's a really simple, but really moist and rich chocolate sponge. That's the chocolatey part of my Reese's buttercup cupcake. And the best bit about a peanut buttercup is the filling. And so this cupcake definitely needed to have a peanut buttery filling. I just put some smooth peanut butter and some icing sugar into a food processor and blended it. And it tastes almost exactly the same as the filling of a buttercup. Then I topped it with a really smooth peanut butter buttercream and then chucked a load more chopped chocolate on the sides for a bit more chocolatey goodness. And lo, the perfect peanut buttercup cupcake was born. And it was good. <laughs> so that's number four, my peanut buttercup cupcake. And at number three, it's my Breaking Bad inspired blue meth cupcake. The best bit about this cupcake recipe was that it was a collaboration with my friend Johnny Cupcakes, who is a bit of a legend. He has a really great range of t-shirts out in the States, and he was doing a Breaking Bad inspired range and asked me to create a recipe for it. So it was really cool because I got to do a favour for a mate, but at the same time give you guys a really, really fun recipe. Essentially, it's just a vanilla sponge cupcake with vanilla icing. but. The sponge has been marbled. I just took a bit of the batter out and made it blue and then wiggled it about with the normal batter and lo and behold, a marble cupcake. It's got vanilla buttercream on top, but the best bit is the blue magic, the product, which goes on top, which is really fun because it's a bit of sugar work, which you get to bash up once it's all solidified. Bash, bash, bash. So if you're in a mood with someone, you can just take it out on the sugar. So that was number three, my Breaking Bad Blue Mess Cupcakes. And at number two, one of the best cupcakes in the world, it is the S'mores Cupcake. So s'mores are obviously everyone's favourite campfire treat. And I made a s'mores brownie a couple of years ago, which like knocked my socks off and I love it. Um, and you guys seem to love it too. So a s'mores cupcake was always going to be born. Um, Essentially, it is a combination of three of the best things in the world, a buttery biscuit base. Then there's a really nice chocolate sponge, which is fairly simple, but really, really delicious. But the best bit of this whole cupcake is the marshmallow meringue icing, which is one of my favorite icings to make and eat. Um, it's a bit of a faff because you need to do it over a bain marie and it takes about 10 or 15 minutes. But the end result is a sticky, gooey, fluffy, yummy, yummy thing goes on top of your cupcake and then you get to blowtorch it to toast it. Now, any reason for me to get my blowtorch out, I'm all over it. So that's number two, my s'mores cupcake, and at number one, it's the Malteser cupcake. I put this at number one because I get a lot of visitors in the shop and a lot of people get in touch with me and they tell me that they've made this and that for my channel, but by far the most popular one is Malteser cupcakes. I even get sent Malteser cupcakes in the post. I've had pictures sent to me, I've been tagged in loads of stuff, so it's you obviously love it as much as I do, um, and it's really, really simple. It's a very basic chocolate sponge, but the best bit about it is you add malted milk powder, which completely changes the flavor and the texture of it, it makes it light, it makes it really comforting and warm, and then you top it with, again, really simple vanilla buttercream just with packed with crushed Maltesers. So you're getting more than your fair share of Maltesers and everyone. But then the best bit is you put Maltesers on the top so you can eat them one by one and then just 
shove the rest in. So that's number one, my Malteser cupcake, and that rounds off my top five cupcake recipes from 2015. And if you've got a favourite recipe you'd like me to know about, then pop it in the comments box below. And don't forget, I love seeing what you guys make from my channel. So if you've made anything you'd like me to see, then hashtag Cupcake Gemma on Twitter or Instagram and I'll have a little look. I'll be back next week. Don't forget you can subscribe to my channel, so if you haven't already, you should do that. And I'll be back next week with a recipe for you guys. And until then, happy baking!